Hey everybody, we're in the Oval Office here and been doing some work on State of the Union. I'm going to be giving the State of the Union next week, but as you may know, uh, I've been going around the country starting to preview some of the things that I think are really going to be important for us to make sure that we are growing this economy and that it works for everybody. And one of the things that I'm going to make an early announcement about this week is the issue of getting faster broadband. I want to take a look at something that I've got here on my iPad. Uh, this is internet download speeds by city. Okay, I can zoom up if you want so you can see the names there. So you've got Seoul, South Korea, Hong Kong, Tokyo, Paris. These cities all have really fast access to the internet because they've made the investments in broadband. Now, here's what's interesting. Right next to it, you got Cedar Falls, Iowa. Now, Cedar Falls isn't a really big place. You only got 40,000 people in, in Cedar Falls. But the reason they can compete with these other world cities is because citizens got together and made the investment to bring competition in and make sure that internet speeds were just as fast there as anywhere else. We've got some other cities like Kansas City and Chattanooga, Tennessee that are doing uh, similar things. And that gives them a huge competitive advantage. It means a business can come in and locate there knowing that they can hook into world markets, products, services, anywhere around the globe. Uh, so I'm going to be going to Cedar Falls to highlight this. The reason is because unfortunately we've also got a bunch of U.S. cities that aren't on par, that aren't moving as fast when it comes to broadband. And, you know what it feels like when you don't have a good internet connection, right? You, everything's buffering, you're trying to download a video, you got that little circle thing that goes around and around, it's really aggravating. But it, that may mean money if you're trying uh, to do a business deal, or you may lose a customer if they're not able to see you respond quickly. If you're a student and you're trying to study for an exam and you're supposed to download some information and it doesn't come, that's a problem for you. So. There are real world consequences to this and it makes us less economically competitive. Now, the good news is that there are some steps we can take through executive actions that allow us to make sure that every community can do what Cedar Falls is doing. Every community will be able to make the investments they need to speed up broadband, bring in more competition, give consumers more choice, and as a consequence, uh, hopefully they're going to be in a better position to attract businesses make sure students uh, have the web at their fingertips, uh, make sure that all the uses uh, of the internet that are available are right there uh, in their communities. So that's what I'm going to be talking about in Cedar Falls. You want to tune into this uh, because obviously it affects your lives and it's just one more part of this overall strategy that we've got, building on the progress we've already made to make sure now that that progress reaches every person who's willing to work hard uh, and trying to make it here in America.